Hello guys and welcome to another video. So in this video, we are going to discuss about the Turing test which is based on the idea of thinking machines and the Chinese room test. So stay tuned. You are watching the AI and DS channel. The Turing test, originally called the imitation game by computer scientist Alan Turing, is a method of inquiring whether or not a machine is capable of thinking like a human being. Alan Turing originally proposed the Turing test in a 1950 paper in an attempt to answer the question, can machines think? For performing Turing tests, researchers set up three terminals in which one terminal has a computer and the other two terminals will be having humans. One of the human will be the inspector and the inspector will blindly question both the computer and the human with the help of text conversations in a particular subject area. And based on the answers, the inspector has to identify which answer came from the human and which came from the computer. The computer tries to confuse the inspector by giving answers as accurate as a human being. This would be done for multiple rounds and if the inspector cannot clearly identify whether the computer gave the answer or the human being gave the answer for more than half the time, the computer is said to have passed the Turing test. Alan Turing predicted that by the year 2000, computers with 100 MB of memory could easily pass this test. The first program to have believed to pass the Turing test was called ELISA. ELISA is an early natural language processing program created at the MIT Artificial Intelligence Laboratory. It misled many people to thinking it was a psychotherapist by turning their questions back at them. Another recent example of a bot passing the Turing test was that of Eugene Gutsman. This chatbot pretended to be a Ukrainian child for whom English wasn't the first language. Gutsman was designed to be a character with a believable personality. This helped cover up any slips that might occur during its conversations. Meanwhile, some programs like the Cleverbot took a totally different approach by statistically analyzing large amount of data and coming up with the best responses. Unlike other chatbots, Cleverbot's responses are not pre-programmed. It learns from the previous inputs. It responds to an input by finding out how a human had responded to it when asked earlier. Do you want to chat with a Cleverbot? I'll add a link in the description below for you to check out. Some chatbots also show previous conversations to improve themselves over time. The Turing test cannot be stated as a perfect test for measuring robot intelligence as it involves trickery. But as technology advances and to incorporate a wider field of expertise for measuring computer intelligence, different tests came to use. One such test is the Lovelace Test 2.0, which gauges the computer's ability to create art. Another modification of the Turing test, which is widely called as the reverse Turing test, is the CAPTCHA. This is commonly used by websites to verify the visitors of the websites are human and not a bot. CAPTCHA is an acronym for Completely Automated Public Turing Test to Tell Computers and Human Apart. CAPTCHA relies on human ability to generalize and recognize patterns based on their past experience. Speaking of Turing tests, it would be noteworthy to mention Alan Turing and his contribution to modern day technologies. Alan Turing was a visionary mathematician and a computer scientist. He is often referred to as the father of modern computing and artificial intelligence. While being a university student itself, he was the first person to introduce the idea of algorithm and computing machines, and later came up with the Turing machine. A Turing machine is a theoretical machine that provided simple yet powerful mathematical models of computation. One of his famous works involved breaking the code of German Enigma machine which is believed to have shortened the World War II by a couple of years and saving millions of lives. After the war, he was instrumental in designing Britain's first general purpose computer. Okay, now let's have a look at the Chinese room test. The Chinese room thought experiment was proposed by John Searle in 1980. The setting for a Chinese test consists of a non-native Chinese speaker in a room with an instruction manual in English and some Chinese characters. A Chinese speaker would then communicate to the person in the room with messages written in Chinese characters and give it to them via a slot in the door. 
The person in the room would then use the instruction and the Chinese characters to answer the person outside the room. Now, imagine the person in the room with the instruction manual to be a program. And if it had been successful in convincing the person outside that this was indeed a Chinese person, the program would have been set to pass the Turing test. John Seal pointed out that even though the program was able to make human-like conversations and pass the Turing test, it would not have any understanding of the language as it does not think and it does not have a mind of its own. Well, that brings us to the end of this video. Hope you liked this video and got an idea about the Turing test and the Chinese room test. Make sure to hit the subscribe button and the thumbs up if you like this video. See you in the next video.